All right, I've got this here boat. It's been sitting here upside down for a few weeks at least, maybe a month. And I'm hoping these barnacles will come off more easily in the sun. I think if it was here long enough, the barnacles would almost fall off. Because a lot of the ones that were out of the water for like a year, they just flake off pretty easily. But then the ones along the bottom, they're pretty stuck. So this is a bottle of hydrochloric acid or muriatic acid. I don't know what they call it. So I've got a bucket of water here and a paintbrush and a little container. So I'm going to paint some hydrochloric acid on here. Hopefully it'll help dissolve the shells a little bit, loosen things up. Get this on yourself. <laughs> Ooh, a couple pieces just fell off there. See if it's any easier to get these things off now. Huh. That is a little easier. Actually, a lot easier. Still holding on for sure, but. Yeah. That is significantly easier. Well, it's starting to look like a boat again. Whew. I painted some more acid on there. I'm just going to leave it in the sun for a while now. Hopefully between the acid and the sun it'll break them up a little more. Check it in, how you guys doing? Remember to respond like you are happy to hear from me. Yeah. Uh, I'll give you a C minus on that one. Okay, over and out. All right, new banana tree, new mango tree, Something else planted up here. Just gonna have to watch where I step. Oh, that's where I planted it. And something is eating it. Oh.
All right, Jamie. We have to figure out some technique to get this glue off the thing. All right, keep one plant too, I think. So hot today. <sighs> oh, what are you whining about, Jamie? You've been through worse, much worse. This is a piece of cake. A piece of dangerous cake. Let's go. Like a piece of cake made out of scorpions and ants. Uh, I think that one landed too close to this one. Let's put you somewhere else. Oh, there's no coconuts right there. Beauty. Oh, man. All right, Jamie. Hardest thing about being hot and tired is losing coordination. Because that's when you get hurt digging with tools. So focus on coordination, come on. I gotta turn the camera off. I gotta go focus on coordination. That's what I'm told. Okay, I gotta go. Man, that's some hard digging. I guess I'll save some for tomorrow. Yep. So on the gray boat, the one that has all the barnacles all over it, I was thinking about putting a big propeller out the back that would be a surface piercing propeller. So just the ends of the propeller blades would brush through the water. Uh, I heard they're supposed to be kind of good. And I was like, wait, I know there's a, a kind of famous boat that has surface piercing propellers a little bit like that. Let me go look it up. And uh, one of the first things I found was this article dated 2013 I think that said well the first or the biggest change in the, in the boat this year is that we've gotten rid of the surface piercing propellers and now we have a fully submerged propeller system in the boat. so maybe they tried it and it wasn't so good although I don't know it might be good if it's like a, a bigger propeller and just the ends of the blades go on the water and it's pretty slow rotation I don't know I don't know if I want to get that experimenty with something I need to work though. So the two obvious choices are uh, just a big paddle wheel, which I know is super reliable and you know if it gets dirty, some barnacles on it, it's not that big a deal, it still works pretty well. Or something with pedals and gears and a propeller that goes into the water, which works pretty well. I have that on the zombie chopper. The other thing is I have to keep the propeller clean like with that kind of propeller you'll notice this if you ever have like a an air blowing fan if it gets dust on it if 
flow is like half as hard, and then you wipe it off, and it's like, whoa, whoa tornado. That's not a huge deal, though. Just wipe off the propeller blades before going places. I don't know, I'm still thinking about what to do. It would be kind of cool to make some giant gears for a, a pedal system. Now let me think about it. I'm out of snacks and water. Good thing I'm almost home. You know, this little boat here has just the big paddle wheel thing. Yeah. Those are just so reliable, which is why I have to keep it on the table. Like, on the table as an option. So I hung out with my kids for a while, and then I made some dinner, and I was still exhausted. And I was thinking, man, I did not do that much work today. Like, I did some, but not like tired for hours afterward kind of work. And then my friend stopped by, and it reminded me that he and I went on this pretty grueling eight-hour pedal boat ride the other day. So I asked him, hey. Are you still tired from that pedal boat trip? And he's like, oh, I'm wrecked. And I guess that explains it. Which is kind of encouraging. That means in a few days, or maybe a week, I don't know, the digging should start feeling a lot easier. Oh, that would be good. All right, I'm gonna go work on some video game and go to sleep. Oh, I gotta do some stretching too. Stretching. <laughs>